Hey, what's going on? My name is Tim. I'm one of the co-founders here at Scary Good Marketing, and we are doing this series talking about how you can leverage social media to grow your business. Now, really, in this first episode, we really want to talk about why social media and really how you can start shifting over and capitalizing on social media and grow your business. Now, one of the big things we always get asked when we are working with a potential client and they're looking to get into social media and really make social media more profitable for them is, is it actually the right choice for moving your marketing assets and things? And the big thing that we have found is not only is social media just going to help you make more revenue by going out and getting more customers, but it's actually way more profitable and can drive a better ROI because it's a lot cheaper. Now we worked with a client where literally all we did was we took one of their most profitable ad campaigns that was a mailer campaign and they were doing all the mail in-house, so designing, developing, um, printing, and sending it out, they were doing in-house. It was costing them around 14 cents to send out each individual piece of mail to a single person. And with that, we took that ad campaign and really all we did was copy it, reformat it for social media and we ran it on Facebook and we did that for an entire year. And I wanna show you the entire breakdown of what happened just taking that mailer and converting it into a Facebook ad. So we look at this entire graph, you'll see that the amount of times that the ad was clicked on in an entire year was 57,887 times and the average cost per click was about 53 cents. Now right off the bat, you would think that, well, 53 cents is more than 14 cents, but the reality is it actually is way, way less expensive. And the reason for that is because we didn't track it based on the amount of clicks, right? Because when you look at a mail campaign, people can't click on it. They have to go and type in a website manually and go to it. So what we wanted to do was actually look at the reach, which was 366,970. And what this represents is how many unique people actually saw the ad campaign throughout the entire year. So if we wanted to send that same amount of mail to people at 14 cents, it would actually cost $51,375 and a little bit of change. So just by going and shifting the budget and shifting and taking a pre-existing ad campaign that was already working, and running it through social media, the company was actually able to save $20,594.86 just by transitioning what they were originally doing, which was old mail campaigns, and transitioning it to online Facebook advertising. So as you can see there, not only did pretty much the majority of things stay the same, right? We did also increase the amount of um, transaction sales and revenue the company made, but we were able to do it a lot cheaper and more cost effective. So that's really the big thing is if you are running ad campaigns that are currently working, transitioning and moving those over to online advertising, like I said, running it through Facebook, running them through Instagram. If you have uh, commercials that you've run on local channels, local news stations, you can transition those to YouTube advertising. And with all the different online platforms that are out there, you can really optimize your ad campaigns and make them a lot more cost effective, therefore saving you more money, driving a higher ROI, and really just helping you make and become more profitable when it comes to your advertising. And this is really one of the big things that we look at uh, when we are working with a client and really evaluating things. And the great thing is, unlike a lot of traditional type of advertising, when we first started, we did not transition the entire budget to Facebook advertising. We actually started with a budget as little as $5 a day. So we took $5 every single day and put it towards this ad campaign. 
and as it started to pick up, as it started to increase, and as we started to track it and see how the numbers were going, we continued to increase the budget behind this ad campaign. And the great thing was we were also able to go and do A-B testing, change out some of the wording, change out some of the phrases, and make the ad campaign better, bringing in more revenue, bringing in more income, while lowering the cost that it actually took because we weren't having to put out all of the, the mail, changing things, reprints, and doing all of that stuff. We could do that realistically within a 24 hour window. Because the great thing is with platforms like Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, YouTube, any of these social media platforms, you can really set up an ad and then within 24 hours, it can go out and start running. Sometimes it's a little less, but on average it takes about 24 hours and you start getting real world data to see what's working and what you can improve on. Now with that, I will say if you are just starting out, you want to get your feet wet. Like I said, that's exactly what we're going to do in this entire uh, four part series is we are going to walk you through all of the most profitable ad campaigns that we've ever run, what you can really do on these platforms, and really just give you everything that you need to be equipped to go out and start running your first ads. Now, like I said, with that, the big key thing here is we really just want you to understand how valuable social media advertising is, and not just social media, but online advertising in general. And I think where a lot of people really can see the benefit is that you can go set up an ad campaign, run it for a week, and if it's not performing the way that you want, you simply shut it off and you stop paying for it. Unlike a lot of traditional type ad campaigns or uh, platforms out there, like if you're doing news, you're doing um, articles, any of those things, you may have to pay for uh, a month, two months, pay for a chunk of time, and you only have that one single ad that's gonna go out, and if it's not performing well, there's not much you can do. When it comes to the online world, we can get real world data, we can see exactly how many people are clicking on an ad, how much engagement's coming in through an ad, and there's a lot more things, right? And with the world that we live in, the majority of people are on their mobile device. 63% of all internet traffic is now coming from a mobile device, and if people want to click something, buy it, interact with you as a business, they wanna do it right now. They don't want to look at a billboard, try to remember about it, try to search for you online. They just want things to be right there in the palm of their hand, and that's really where the big shift of everything has come is since everything is going online. And like I said, it does not matter if you're selling products, you're selling services, it doesn't matter if you just want to sell in a local market or you want to sell statewide or nationwide. That's the beauty of online advertising. So I'm really excited for us to continue down this series of videos. And what we've actually done is we actually created an entire success kit to go along with these videos. So right here, you'll see this QR code. Simply scan it on your mobile device, put in your information, and we're going to send you a bunch of resources that you can follow along as we go through this series. That way you have the most success possible when you're going through trying to get stuff set up online. And like I said, whether you've done it before or you're brand new to it, we are going to literally pull back the curtain and show you exactly the best campaigns that we have found to work in local markets and even national markets to help you start leveraging a lot more social media and online advertising to help you bring in more profits for your business. So that's pretty much what we have in this episode and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.